All right, hello everyone. So it's the 5th of June. All right, so it's 9.09 my time. This is the first spot over here. It's a new week. Also, we're in June, a new month. We entered last month. So let's take a look. Now, as you can see, it looks like we're coming down and that's fine. And we've got room to come down to that 56 and 55, which is 1920, 1906. All right, so these targets we talked about. So I'm going to keep them there. No dramas. This is right under the white line. Very, very nice. Okay. It's very bearish. Okay. Now, this is the first astro hour, right? So, this zone is the first spot we need to be careful about. But look, we've got 1920 on the weekly price as well. And on the daily, our first support is 37, 1938. And this is 1935 down here. Okay. So 1938, 1935. I'm just going to do this. Let me bring this to here. 1938 and 1935. So that's our goodbye kiss zone. So if the market comes down here into Astral's, we'd like to go up. And if the market comes back up to the weekly, daily, we're thinking about selling again. Now, here are the two places to sell, okay? One is going to be in this zone here. All right, so we'd actually like to come up here, okay? This is where the push happened, as you can see. So selling in this zone is good. So it might go slightly above the weekly and then sell off. So the weekly pivot and the daily pivot zone is going to be nice to sell in order to come down into this zone here and doing that astro hours good so if we're in astro hours which this is the first slot here if we come down go up and then we can sell off later on okay so i'm going to put the astro hours in the members area as usual with the swing days and that's it if we go straight down today then the 1920 is the spot and this zone is going to be your second stop to get in in order to go up okay now normally i said we should come up here we should still break this zone it has not broken this everybody's stop loss was here last week we felt the high again and the market came down and that's fine no problem okay but it should still break this high in my opinion if it broke it that would be nice then we should just sell off and that purple zone is still on the radar that 55 56 is 1990 to 1995 okay 1990 1995 there so this is also still a nice decent sell zone there okay so we'll keep that in mind okay if that does happen because normally what we'll see is the market going up, breaking a high, taking out the stops, and then pushing further down, okay? If it taps in here before it goes up, we want to go long again, all right? So down here, that 1920, as you can see, and 1900 is going to be your zone, all right? That's going to be your zone. That's your bar there. All right, so this zone is still on the cards as well. 31 is 1913, which is also in that zone, it's that blue line there. Okay, so that's that. And the first target would be 47, which is 1965. And that is nicely in here, 1965. All right, so selling in here as well is perfection. All right, let's take a look at the euro dollar. Now, euro dollar did the targets. It broke above those swings, as you can see. Took out the stop losses, came down. That's nice. It's a new month again from last week. Let's check it out. We still got room down here, as you can see, in that 41 zone there. And that's 1.0368. That is a big drop down. Okay, 0368 is just like way, way down. So before we cross that bridge, we're going to have other things to think about. Now, this is the first spot, and this is an indecision bar. All right, so last week, closing on the weekly indecision bar is going to give us a bit of a heads up, okay? 
Now, the first support, this is pretty bullish, okay? So coming back to go long is not a bad idea. 33 is 1.0671. So 1 1.06 seven one is there all right so coming into this zone in order to push up it's not a bad idea and this as you can see here was a good manipulation zone there okay that's that and there's a bit of a gap here so that zone is still on the cards okay because you see the gap there all right so be mindful so keep that in mind. So buying the lows is what we're going to do. Let me just check what else we've got down here. Those are too far. On the weekly, we're pretty much there. On the daily, that's your level there. And that's going to be pretty much it. That level is also 1.0670. So coming a bit further down to go up is okay to do so. So you see they're going to be there. Okay, this is not a bad spot either because this is where they pretty much did that boost up. Okay, we're right. Oh, so this is nice as well. Now we've got the astro hours coming in as well right now. Okay, so what's the astro hour? There was in the morning as well. Actually, what was this? 3.15. We had 3.03. So we had this hour zone there. And you would have also been okay with the 445. 445 is right there. So this is not a bad spot either. If it breaks below this, this is where you're going to buy it. Okay. So let's just put in the latest one we've got here, which is 915. All right. That's your 915 there. Plus 1018 there. All right. So this zone is going to be okay to look for a push up. If we go up, where should we go to? Well, if we go above the weekly pivot, our targeting should be back in this zone here. So 41 is your closest, which is an 0735. And that's going to be your daily pivot. All right. So we should be heading up into this direction here. So you can see this is where the market also start to push down there's a gap here so the euro dollar can pretty much come back into this zone here okay that's possibility there and that's your first pst there and on the daily let's see what the latest the one after that is 4436 is the highest one 0751 0 is right there Okay, so this zone and this zone, and that's logical. Okay, this is pretty logical, as you can see. Okay, in that zone there. So if we should come into this zone, this is a sell zone, this is a sell zone, and this is going to be a buy zone to go there or there. This is going to be a buy zone as well. The, the push, okay, the push is down, all right? That's for sure, and we need to come down, but this is a good bullish bar from last week that broke the high of the low closed above it and pushing down so on the one hand the trend is coming down and that's fine on the other hand the market will look for a buy as well so we're going to have to play both sides this is the same for gold as well okay if you take a look that's a good bullish aspect all right and then the market comes down without breaking that high so what we want to see is retest of this level or lower in order to go higher then we should either break this okay and that and then we should come higher to sell off okay i hope that makes sense right so this is technical analysis and this is where you know you're going to have to match it with astrology and when you're playing both sides of the market this is exactly what you're going to be doing so you're going to be much safer than your conventional technical analysis because you've got timing on your side. So unless the market stops here, there's nothing to talk about because in this time period, we should stop and start to reverse, okay? If it doesn't hold, 
if it doesn't hold, then you're going to have to wait for the lower level at 1, 130, which I'm going to talk about later in the members area, 135. All right, so let's take a look at Dow Jones. With the Dow Jones, it would be the big push up, as you can see there, okay? On the weekly, remember we were selling the highs on the SP500 as well, and now all of a sudden we've got this big push up after the gap closed, okay? And that's only natural. The trend is still down if you look at the long-term perspective. Let's take a look at the daily. On the daily. Okay. Let's take a look at the daily. Now, here we are. This is, remember, this is where I'm expecting the market to come down to. Okay, all the way in there. Okay, so let's see what's going to happen. Um, so what we need to do, this is the zone on the daily. Let me just check. This is where the gap is, and that's the high of the blue, and that's the high of the indecision bar. This should be a sell zone again. Okay, slightly higher at, where's the low of that? Or the low of pretty much. Or this one here. Well, let's take the low of that one. Okay, so that's 34,006. 34,000. And six, so it's going to be around there, okay? On the weekly, do I have anything? That is 58. 34,250, that is going to be way, way high. But if it breaks above that, we're going to 34,250, and that will be a sell price. Okay, there, that will be a sell price for sure. On the monthly, that 54. Is 34.292. So 34.250 to 2.92. This zone is looking logical. 250, 2.92. All right, so this zone here. And then what do we got on the daily? 65. 33944 33944 33, so this is going to be whoopsie daisy come on you got two zones there okay one and two all right if we go down first you want to go up there if you go up here you want to be selling here and here this is also like i said it's a weekly spot that line on the PSD is definitely worth taking a shot at to go down, okay, with, um, you know, with that line, okay. And that's how you can pan this one out. And this is well nicely in there, okay. 34,004 is a bit out there, but I'm going to keep it on there because technically it's doable. Okay, it's doable because it might just spike it up there this week and then sell back off. Okay, so this will be a sell week again this way. All right. Now, last week, remember, on Friday, I gave you a heads up that the market would break out. Okay, and see how the market went up. Once it started going, it went all the way up until closing. All right, so that's like worked out pretty good on that day. Now, this zone becomes good to sell again. If you go down first, I sell up. Let's take a look at SP500 NASDAQ Bitcoin. So if it goes down first, you go up. If it goes up first, we'll be selling from those zones there. Okay. And once they match the swing days as well, then that should be a pretty good to do so.
SP500, let's check it out. Okay, so that is a nice breakout, as you can see. Okay, going into that. So the trend is still big on the turn. Up. Let's see what happened. Now, last week we had a dip down. I thought we'd go a bit lower, but that's your zone there. Okay, so we had this on the weekly there. Let's see what we can do. Now, these three lines, remember I said here we should be selling. And on all three of them, the market, or on two of them, the market sold on this one. It broke out. Now, once there's a breakout, remember, you don't want to stand in front of it on a PSD. So what's going to happen? This is the daily. The market needs to come back if they're going to buy, just like they did here. Remember, I said it needs to come back, and it did. Okay, it did, and it went up. So this needs to come back if it wants to go up. Okay, where is it going to come back? Down to all the way down here. Okay, that blue line. See the blue line there? 4203. Okay, so around there. The first stop is going to be the 66 here, 4267. So let's take a look at 4267. 4267, so that's your daily pivot. So that's the first stop the market will test. Right, that's your good buy kiss on the daily. So once you get there, the market should have a reaction. But here is what we're looking at where they bought off before, and that's right on the weekly period. That's a nice little cozy place there as well. So first spot, second spot. And on the weekly, your first support is going to be that blue line there. You see the LCL1 line? 63, which is 4263, which is nice here. So this daily pivot zone is going to be your first support level. Okay. So coming down here to go up is an option, okay, to do that. That's nice. And your first resistance is going to be that one there, LCL1, on the daily as well, 4,310. So let's put the upper limits as well, 4,310 is there. On the weekly, do I have an upper level? That is just way, way out there. The high of that, let's see the high of that. Is there a gap there? That's the weekly. Let's check out the daily. It's already filled it in. There is a bit here, which is 4,357. So no wonder I put that there. 4,357, which we're going to keep in mind. Okay, so that's going to be a check in level for us as well. Okay there 4357 if we come down first here or the weekly pivot you want to be going long and the goodbye kiss like i said it's the 66 that's going to be a too far down on the weekly that and the goodbye kiss on the weekly is 4227 that's a bit down there as well <clears throat> 4227 if we come back down here okay if we come back down here this will also be a buy zone, okay? So one, two, three, it just needs to be on your astro hours. First astro hour for the day is that 9.15 bar there. From 9.15 to that 10.18 over here. And this is actually looking like there, okay? So this zone should give the market Yeah, should give the market a bit of a pullback, okay? Because we've got the, yeah, that's correct. So we should come back into some mode, okay? But this 10 o'clock, be careful for this 10 o'clock. If we're still hanging around here, okay, this is not a bad place to push down until at least till that 1 o'clock, 1.32. All right, so it should then push down into here or down here. All right, so matching it, matching the time to your astro hours. Here we are as well. The first support is going to be this on the daily on NASDAQ 73, which is 14,490. 14, 
490, which is, which is, it's already done that. Okay. And that, so as you can see, NASDAQ didn't go very high like the others. So that's the first support. If it breaks, we should go to 66, 14,356, 14. three, five, six is down here and it needs to come down. Okay. It needs to come down to this zone. You can understand why. Um, on the weekly, that resistance is going to be the LCL one, 14, six, eight, five. 14, six, eight five so if it does get up here at an astro hour it's your cell level there on the monthly it could still get up there which is 62 15 thousand wow 15 thousand fifteen that is way 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 out there that's way out there i'm not even going to put that on there okay so selling from these levels is not a bad idea let me just check technically what we have. This zone is what we have. So slighter up move again, in tapping into this would be nice. Okay. And tapping into here would be nice. All right. And that's that. And if we fall down, we should come back into this 14,000 zone again. Okay, so this is the zone we're looking at to come back into. Okay, and then further down into there. And that's basically it. So on this one, you can either wait for the breakdown and then the pull up to sell down again, or you're going to have to wait for the market to retest the highs of last week before the sell off, which is initially going to be around there okay and it should be above there so we should get into there all right so coming into here and then selling off it's not a bad idea at all it should come back to retest the high of asia at least into this zone okay there and fill in before falling off okay that's that. Let's take a look at Bitcoin. Now with Bitcoin, you see that was the weekly pivot for today. If you're using ATAM strategy, you should be all right because you see that was a red zone there. That was the line last week. So we should be your first support for the week is 53. It's going to be 26,491. 26. 491 is going to be there. All right. If we break below this, whoops. If we break below this, you know where we're going, but we should be breaking it. Okay. We should be breaking it. Like I said, I also drew, drew some planetary lines. This is not a trend line. This is a Venus line. Okay. You don't have to scale the chart. A lot of people say you've got to scale your chart if you want to do planetary lines and blah, blah, blah. That's not the case at all. You can draw planetary lines, planetary trend lines. You don't need any scaling at all. Okay. And then all you got to do is match your price and your swing day to that line. If it matches it, bingo, like it matched there. You can see that. And that was your swing day there. You see, market comes down nicely into their bounces off. It's your swing day and just lifts up. Okay. So same kind of thing here. We should be getting into that purple zone. I talked about that before. And then we should break that Venus line. And then we should go back even lower. I'm going to do more detailed analysis on it. But, you know, in the meantime, just um, consider it as draft work because I'm putting together something big. All right. And that's how it is. So selling on the up moves, like I said, I've been saying it since ages. It's not a bad idea if we go back up. You know, just push it down again into those targets there. And this zone is what you're expecting there, okay? And you can see your target zone going to be, whoops, around that 25,000 initially. And But we should come back lower. 
okay and then we should break into the 20k too we should come back all the way back in there all right so this is going to be your zone eventually and then even down here eventually as well 